checking in from Hartford, Connecticut, but more importantly, checking out. I'll see you in New York. Welcome back to the show that's taking you all over the country with great food, the MLB 30 and 30. And speaking of great food, we've got a lot of it today, so let's get right to it as we take our first trip of two to New York today to visit the amazing Mets at City Field. Some quick facts about City Field. It is in Queens, one of the five boroughs of New York City. It opened in 2009, replacing the legendary Shea Stadium. Its capacity is 41,922. That is in the upper half. It is 13th in the league. The breeze in here is immaculate. It feels beautiful. Pay attention to that last comment because soon the breeze will turn into crazy winds. But for now, let's just enjoy the sights and the sounds. You know when you talk to somebody and they don't know what you mean? They know the words, but they don't know the meaning behind the words. <laughs> Story of my life, I think. <laughs> I mentioned all the food. There were so many options here. This is just scratching the surface. As we cross the Shea Bridge in the outfield of City Field. Hold on to your hats, boys and girls. Holy cow. All of a sudden, I have like 12 options. The Metro Fry Factory, Shake Shack, Patty's P or Patsy's Pizza. Sorry, I don't want to disrespect Miss Patsy. Pretty sweet dining area. Tables look full right now, but a lot of places to stand out here if you're in the outfield section getting some grub. The amazing chicken company. Not gonna lie to you, it looks like it's just chicken, which is fine. Maybe there's something different to the chicken. Maybe it's amazing. First, I went with a filet mignon steak sandwich. Let's dig in. Cheers, here we go. A little bit overdone. It's good. It's not 26 bucks good. It's like half of that at best. Again, not bad. A little bit better quality meat. Meat's a little bit overdone. Probably a 12. It's, it's a regular ballpark sandwich. Nothing you gotta go crazy out of your way for. Whatever. I mean, we're still gonna finish it, of course. Anyway, let's get a beer. All right, this is a, uh, I already forgot what this is. Hang on. We got a Brooklyn Brewery, Pulp Art Hazy IPA. We'll see. Looks pretty good. Cool can, right? Cheers. That's solid. Above average. This could very well be one of those days where I spend zero seconds in my seat. Yep, that is exactly what happened. I had actually planned on leaving after the seventh inning today. That's loud. Oh, I'm right by the speakers. All right, let's take a walk and enjoy this scenery a bit. As you're about to cross into dead center, no admittance. So that's unfortunate as my hat's getting blown off. This is, was that me? Oh no, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> All right, yeah, not much more to see here. We're kind of at a dead end, so. Oh God. <laughs> not gonna lie. This is low key one of my favorite parks so far. I did not expect it. To be fair, I didn't really know what to expect, but um, I don't know. I'm kind of, I don't know if I use the term blown away, but I'm pleasantly surprised, we'll say. This kind of reminds me of Toronto, except better. I'm assuming this, this can't be normal. <laughs> Bro, this is my first time in this stadium. Yeah, me too, know. me too. Yeah. Being a height and then the wind tunnel. Right. The tunnel, forget it. <laughs> I actually, I like the stadium as a, as a whole. Yeah. yeah, it's not bad. Yeah, it's not bad at all. I think people think I'm being dramatic about how much it's actually blowing. No, it's not, man. This is crazy. Yeah. <laughs> Jeez. What's your name, buddy? Uh, Sean. Sean? Yeah, I'm Chris. Chris nice man. to meet you, man. For the last, like, two or three days, uh -huh. it said it was going to be thunderstorms. Right. So I was just glad the game's going. Right. Um, I see that they postponed the, um, the, the Yankees game. Today? 
Yeah, I saw one on the uh, Oh, I missed that. Oh no, they, they're up in, uh, they're in Boston. They're in Boston though, yeah. Yes, where I just was the day before and I was 50-50 on whether I was gonna go to Boston first or New York. Had I picked New York, my Boston game would have gotten rained out and the whole trip would have been ruined. Massive shout out to Sean, awesome dude, but I gotta get going because I gotta get some more food before time runs out. I decided to go with something called chopped cheese. All right. I feel like there's no way I won't like the sauce but just in case, I got it on half of it. You call yourself a man and you only put cheese on half the sandwich? I didn't know how it would be. Oh, it's spilling everywhere. It's an interesting sauce. It's not bad. It's like a mustard taste at first. I don't know. It's okay. But it's solid. It's, it's, it's decent. I'm glad I got it on half though, because I wouldn't want it to overpower it. See? I knew I did it right. Yeah, you're still a little bad. I've officially broken my rule of only getting two food items. This is food item number three. It's the patty melt from Pig Beach. I have not seen a park with more better looking food items than City Field. So you know what? I said forget it. We're breaking the rules. They're my rules anyway, so we can break them all we want. We make them up as we go along. It's so true. At this point in the trip, the rules have been thrown out the window anyway. Double meat burger uh, with a whole bunch of stuff on rye bread. I'll update it later, but cheers. It looks massive. Holy cow. Cheers. So whatever the secret sauce is on here, it's powerful. No joke, that burger was one of my favorite foods of the entire trip. If you're ever at City Field, go out of your way to Pig Beach Barbecue and get the patty melt and tell them I sent you. They won't know what that means, but it'd be funny to see their reaction. Oh, shit. I forgot about the ice cream. Yeah, so a few people told me I had to get this ice cream because it's in an apple container or something. I don't know. I'll let this guy tell you. What's your name, buddy? Uh, Angelo. Angelo, you're from here. Uh, no, I'm from Fort Washington. So this is actually surprisingly one of my favorite stadiums so far. Have you been to a few different ones or just this one? I've been just to this one in uh, Yankee Stadium. Yeah? Now, yeah. why is this one better than Yankee Stadium? Uh, I feel like it's more newer and there's like more things like to it in detail and right. stuff. I just feel like Yankee Stadium can be like more like exciting, like right. just the momentum of it. Like here, it's just more like a positive vibe and stuff. Nice. What do we have here? Now, by the way, this isn't like the apple thing that people say to get, right? This is just a cup of ice cream, right? No, but there's like another one. There's like a, like a cup, but it's like an apple. Okay. Is that, the, is that what I should get, you think? I think so. Okay, yeah. fair enough. It's larger too, so. Yeah, 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 I gotcha. Angelo, appreciate you, man. Thank you. Well, we had to get it now. Let's go. All right, enough of this nonsense. Let's just eat it. Now we do. There's a mass amount of ice cream. I cannot eat all this ice cream. That is a negative attitude. I should not have said that. I can and I, I can and I will. Barely scratched the surface. That ice cream was tough, but I gave it my best effort. And I got to catch the end of the game where unfortunately the Mets lost. But it is about that time once again to get going because we've got a few more stops on the journey. But that is City Field, and I want to thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. You've heard me say it before. This is one of those cases where I wish I had a bit more time because I didn't get to see everything I wanted to see around this park. History, memorabilia, things like that. But just a reason to go back, and I can't wait to do that because the food was incredible. I want to try a lot more things here. But until then, the show must go on, and next we are in D.C. to see the Nationals. And I hope to see you there as well.